hello everybody good day um today we're going to be showing you how you can create your profile and student as an aoc candidate we're happy to have you we understand that many of you have joined the platform and a um, few more people are here to join so we're happy to guide you through the process of creating a profile and student as an aoc candidate we're going to start by um signing up so we're going to use this document here that shows what is the first thing to do the first thing to do is to go to the link here app dot this dot com slash alc so app dot still come to alc you can put in your email address here for example we can use an email from so use your email here that's the case uh we just use one email from a student that we can actually use for this demo Put your phone number here, the actual phone number you use, because this is where the employers will call you when you have interviews. So make sure all you put here are accurate details. And then you'll be asked to create a password. Use something you can mem memorize and something you can remember at the same time. So um, make sure it's more than six or eight digit, uh, eight characters. So once you click on this, it, you create an account. And this would even send a mail to you in your mailbox much later that you can always go back to. And this is also accessible in the mobile phone. So you can also go to the mobile phone and also fill this up at the same time. So this is really good. So the next thing for us, according to these docs, is we've done the first thing by putting in our email, our phone number, and then password. Now it's time to complete our profile. And for this part, we have two major things. We have the profile and account sections so like we can see we can see the profile in the account session here so we have to fill these details without these details and players won't be able to know who we are or understand our skill sets our experience all of the abilities we have and then we would miss, miss out of interviews or jobs or whatsoever opportunities that would would have gotten on the platform so on the account section we're going to do a number of things we're going to upload our picture make sure um, your profile is memorable use an edge short you're going to put in your first name your last name and other bios so let's go to the first and click to add an image when we click on this we can pick an image that we would like employers to see so this would be a nice image smiling face or this could be also a nice image for example just showing the candidate can we see this this is really good or uh, we can change to this make sure something welcome and something professional as well it's a good image so we can now add our first name here so let's imagine my first name is um, uh, Huda yeah and my last name is let's imagine is um, Oko um, Musa yeah and I have my email here, I have my phone number here, I can pick my country. If you're in Nigeria, you can pick Nigeria. And uh, if you're in other countries as well, you can pick Rwanda. Um, so, Rwanda. And then when it comes to state, you can also pick your state as well. So Nigeria here for now, we'll pick Lagos or Abuja. Let's pick Abuja. We'll pick our city. Uh, we have a city there, we can put Guadalajara there. We can put in a zip code. The zip code is not something we use so much here in Nigeria, so we can omit this if you don't know your zip code. So now we've filled a part of this, and then we'll go to more uh, technical, no, more careful details that tells employers about what we have. This is bio, biography. So your bio data tells employers who you, who you are, more like a brief summary. So it says a short summary about yourself, give employers a reason to employ you. The bio is an introductory profile summary. It should tell the employer that what distinguishes you from all the candidates, it should communicate the type of value you can offer to your potential employer if in not more than one to two short sentences. So this would be, this is a sample. The sample says a front-end developer with industry experience building website and web applications. I specialize in JavaScript and have professional experience working in with C Sharp and Angular. And I also have experience working in Vue, Ruby, and Rails React. Take a look at my work. You know, we have all this. We can just have this sample, have it here. 
So good thing is to write your sample down before you type it there, so you can you can be sure it doesn't have any error or mistake because that would be a red flag for the employer. You can also put in more details like your uh, GitHub or your code pen or whatsoever. For GitHub, you can just add GitHub here, and you can go to your GitHub and um, so this is a GitHub. So this is a GitHub profile. For example, we're going to use here. We can just use the GitHub profile and have it all here, and then um, that's that's for GitHub. Or we can just look for like some like we all know Prosper, um, Prosper. Uh, I don't know, but it's just it's something else. Yeah, okay, I can never find it. You know, um, so I can never find it. So use something. Um, so we can actually just go without these. We can keep these. This is not necessary, but let's see if we can. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can find this. So this is just an Nigerian profile. So let's just look for something um, anyone can use. So we'll pick a profile here. Put the profile right here. And then you can also add all the social media links like your code pen if you have a code pen or designer dribble or LinkedIn as well. If you have your LinkedIn, you can all put all those details here. LinkedIn, you just pick something that we can just use for now. So um, we can just pick, um, I don't know what this is, but let's just look at this. Uh, we can just have this here. And then if you intend to change your password, you can have this as well. But if that is not the case, the next thing to do is to update account. But also, you know, you can actually refer someone as well to just tutor by having this, so your friends won't mess up opportunities. So update your account. So this completes the account stage. From 5%, let's see where we go to from this stage. This should take us a bit higher, but we're going to 30, 40%. So this is a good move. So we have Uda Musa, who um, got emails here. We can see a profile. Once we go to profile, that's the next thing for us to fill. No, we said we have two things to fill at first. We have the profile and the account section. We've just finished one section, account. Now we'll go to what? Profile. So for profile here, yeah, we would, we've done social media links, we've done all this as we filled. Um, so now we go to all those sections that talks about the profile sections, which is date of birth, your career title, different things entirely we're talking about here. So date of birth, she's a female. Um, if you're looking for a job, say you're available. If you're not, Maybe you're in school or your school is on strike. Put all these things here. Active searching. But there are bed, put your date of bed there. Say you're born on the 25th of December. That's a Christmas day, which is like very lovely. Um, 1999. You can put in days. Uh, software developer uh, works. It also track based on what you've gone through with ALC, which has been amazing, I believe. You can pick a track. Android beginner, DevOps, select your cohort, Microsoft ALC 1, 2, 3. Pick your education, what school did you go to? If you've gone to either Lincoln University or OU above Femi Avalon University, and uh, select your degree, uh, BSc, what course did you study? Let's imagine you study anatomy. Uh, we know we have developers with different skills, which is what makes it amazing. Then you've got second class lower upper first class pick what you've got in here just pick something and uh employers don't really look at what you've got in it's more about your skill set so sell yourself whatever it is even if you've got a third class sell yourself well with this um platform that you've been given so all thanks to alc you have this platform to use without any influence whatsoever so what say did you start a school Four years course, say you finished in 2016, for example. What have you done before? Any experience or project? So you can just speak with experience. Say you've worked as um, an organization. Say if it's your personal company or personal gig, it could be that. Or it could be a different company entirely. It could be, it could just be back in school you were working with your, um, what do you call, 
clubs or societal departments, for example. So these are experiences you can actually put here. So you work with a department, maybe you work with but from OAU um, code lab and uh, you worked as say you worked as a front developer for the media team so probably we can have this uh, and then you can describe what you've done before uh, we can say while you were there you were able to build a website for them and you've used these technologies so you can even put in your portfolio link or what you same class can see that as well so that would be amazing, you know. So just mention when you started this. So if you were in school 2002, so that means you should be about that time. Uh, I don't will go for two years. Okay. Say 2000. Let's imagine I got to school 2002, but I didn't join any group until my. Let's imagine I didn't join like 2004. And when I joined, I became so active, and then I worked up until I finished school. That would be one here, 2006, based on one on what we chose before. So with these, we would have employers can actually choose that. You know, this is a valid uh, d data in that sense. Um, so I made a mistake here. So let's go back a bit. We choose a year. We choose a month, March. We choose a day. We're done. So you can have more experience here by clicking on these, but now we can just make do with these. Certification, if you've been certified by whatsoever, um, say a big one is the uh, Google Africa Scholarship and Development Developer Course. So you can put in here that a title. Issuer, you can have Google and Della Udacity. Um, and then what here was that done? If it was 2008, you can put it here as well. Um, pick it here, it doesn't hate. And in terms of skills, you know, and this is where you provide your technical and soft skills and your competence level. You know, set them on one after the other and do not mix them up in the box. Don't just say Android development, list the tools, like, list the tools you've used. Um, so just put things that would sell you to employers. No, this is this is very competitive. You are amongst the thousands of candidates in a platform. So what will make employers hire you? You have to be sure that you, you know, sell yourself as much as you can. Use this like with a comic and just put um, Firebase. So have all these options. Just put them down. Competency, you can say intermediate. You can add more. So, best is to add a web by one. Say JavaScript. If you're intermediate, intermediate. Add one more again. Firebase. If you're good on this, you can say this one like you're advanced, you're so good, you're so confident that if you're called for an interview based on that, you would ace it without any doubt. So, HTML, CSS, you can say, oh my, I'm still a beginner here. You know, just putting your skills, just go on. The platform is all yours to make use of. Put in intermediate, advanced, beginner. Just sell yourself as much as possible. Your interest, you can say you have interest in blockchain. Let us say you have interest in um, different technologies with comma, and this would automatically, um, so it can have no comma actually, just add interest with a button here. You can say AI, you can say you also like, um, just uh, put interest here that would make employers find you valuable. So you like um, the, uh, put in interest here. And this doesn't need to be all formal. It could also be you like coding, um, uh, philosophy, put whatever you want to put. Sell yourself, be true. true. Now we are 40%. So can you guess how much we can go with this? If we save this, would we go to 100%? Maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know, but let's see. We're gonna save this, it's loaded now. So let's see what it gives to us. Let's be sure it's above 70%, that's the old goal. So now we've gone to 90%. So we're almost there. So, but this is a good start. So this would be the end of our webinar. You can put in, like we said, music, cycling, gaming. You know, click on the drop down beside your name. And we hope that this tutorial has helped you to fill your profile completely. Uh, now you can go to the platform itself and apply for jobs. You know, you have jobs here to apply for. You can click on this position, posted 60 days ago.
if you like it, make sure you go this position. Go through it carefully. Look at the what a company does because the company will ask you what do you know about horse? Why do you want to work with us, not anyone else? Look at the location close to your place. Can you afford to go there? Is it something you can make time for? Um, see the amount they're paying you so you have an understanding before you go. Understand the roles, what you'll be doing, and understand what you're looking for. Do you have the can you use SaaS, Grant Gulp, TDD, Agile, are you experienced in these, JSON, Types Code? So, no, read these things carefully one after the other. Make sure you know them, know them, know them, and know them well. It's important. Know the company, know the location, go to the website of the company, just copy the website of the company like this, you know. Just copy data.org. So put it here. Uh, open a new tab on your phone or computer. Look at the company. What do they do? They do book your appointment. It's a medical company. So look at the company. What do they do? If you can't find any, go on Google as well. Google the company. So just go as much. Like it's like you're going on a date with somebody. You have to Google the person, know the person, what do they do. So it's important, know the company so well, know yourself as well so well. So if you know the company, know yourself, what is left to just go for the interview and ace it, okay? And uh, if you don't get that, you will learn from that and go for the next one again. But I hope is that you go for your first interview and get it. And once you get it, please make sure you reach out to ALC, reach out to student, let us know uh, that you've gotten the job, we'll be happy about the good news, and then we'll then focus on the other people that are left, and uh, we hope you are going to excel, and we actually believe you're going to excel. So, thank you for listening to the webinar, and we hope that this workshop will be helpful. If you have questions, please reach out to us, uh, to, uh, reach out to LC or student, so you have the contact details. So, take care, and have a good time. Bye.